My name is Arthur Joskowitz, originally from Krakow, Poland, but grew up in Santa Monica, California. So I'm a director of coaching for AYSO United, which is the club side of AYSO. Um, I'm in charge of the hub in here in Los Angeles. Um, we currently have 13 teams and I oversee all facets of the club. Well, soccer has always been part of my family. My dad played, my brother played, so it's just original for me to continue that tradition. Um, like I said, I grew up in Santa Monica, so just playing on the local fields there and then started my club ball and then it just pretty much took off after that. Yeah, it was actually my sophomore year of high school. Um, I played at Loyola Marymount University. Um, I got contacted by the coach there. I had no idea what that meant um, and that sort of sparked my interest in the college game and, and it pretty much shot from there. I think the most pivotal moment was actually going to my first practice in college and just seeing what the next level looked like. Um, as a local kid and as a high school player, I don't playing with men for the first time. It really opened up my eyes that this is a real, real, real full-time job that you want to get better at. The most thing that I enjoy about coaching is having the impact on, on kids' lives. Um, and that positive impact and what it could be to help them strive their, to their dreams and their true potential. That there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes and before you even arrive to practice and on game days. Um, through the planning, through, I mean, as a player you just show up and play. As a coach you have 14, 15 individuals that you have to worry about, plus the opposition. I think it makes you appreciate your coach a little bit more um, and your teammates um, because it is a team game so having that overall look on the game I think it really opens up your eyes. Um, because it's not an individual sport it's a team sport so having 14 or 15 individuals believe that they are part of something bigger um, I think that's a that's a catalyst to their success. that it's a full-time commitment, um, especially at, you know, in the college game. Um, you don't only have to worry about the soccer side of it, but also your studies, how you manage your time. Um, and the successful ones usually have a real good sense on, on time management. Not even on the field, but also off the field. Are you committed to the recovery? Are you, re are you committed to the nutritional part of the game? Are you doing extra work outside of your practices? Um, it's a full round commitment that probably is almost like a full-time job. I actually didn't because we didn't have footage available. I knew nothing about the, the college uh, recruitment process. Um, and so we didn't actually have any game film at that time. It could have helped me with exposure for sure. Um, I could have had my highlight reels and my game footage recorded. I could have seen what I've been doing wrong on the field and maybe I could have been a better player. You have to see yourself playing the game actually and then you learn from the footage and then hopefully you strive to correct your mistakes. Um, in terms of college, I mean, man, you have to send footage out to all of your prospective schools, um, get in contact with those coaches because that's going to be the first thing that they ask for. They can see the patterns, they can see the style of play. As coaches on the sidelines, sometimes we think we're seeing something, but in reality it's quite opposite. Um, so seeing that game footage, we can plan the, this, the next week's session, make a game plan for next game and what we're actually good at and what we need to work on. There's so much information out today in today's world that if you're a player and you're not using it to your benefit, I think you're being held back. Um, you need to use the footage and, and the videos that you have again, like I said, to get better in your craft and to keep perfecting that craft. 